morning. We're up here in Green Bay, Wisconsin to show you some safety tips around the trucks. I think it's very important to be aware that when you're driving is not just about the driving, but we have more injuries around the truck than in the truck. It's important to drive carefully in the wintertime and increase your volume distance, slow down. If it gets that bad, shut it down. Last thing you want to do is have an accident. But what we're concerned about today is being around the truck because that's you have more injuries around the truck for truck drivers in the truck, especially in the wintertime. Uh, be careful. What you want to do is have some good treads on your, on your boots. I don't know if you can see that from there, but have winter boots with treads. Steel toes can be slippery too. And these are steel toes, but they but they got a winter tread on them. Um, inside the truck, I usually uh, leave the power switch off, but uh, air rocks that'll come around here. And so I'll turn that on now, so I'll have power to the truck. I leave the power off on the truck just to preserve the battery, just in case. You don't really have to so much. Same with plugging the truck in these days. You could, I do it partly as a force of habit, partly because it's how, how we've always done it, partly because it does keep the water warmer and gets the truck warmer. So I plug the truck, hang the cord back up for the next guy, our next driver. It's always important to open your hood, check your fluid levels. We won't go through the whole thing, but with cold means fluids don't turn as well. Plastic gets harder. So you want to make sure usually you'll see some pink under your the coolant under your car, truck if you got a leak. You've got good coolant level. We want to make sure that it's moving. And rubber hoses can get harder in the wintertime. They've gotten way better over the years. But if you squeeze this, and you can see coolant moving, this is a good thing. After you've been through a snowstorm, that your window is going to be so dirty you can't see through it. Uh, don't spray anything on it. It's not going to work in the really cold. Uh, old newspapers work really well. Rags work really well. But when you're climbing up and down, I'll do it. You got to be really careful to hang on to something. Everything is more slippery. You don't want to hit the ground in the cold. So be very careful. Grab onto whatever you can. Always maintain three points of contact. You get up there easily. Well, not easily when you get to my age, but a rag will work better than newspaper. Don't worry about the rag. I'll either drop it down pick it up when I get down or leave it up and pick it up. Carrying something on your hands when you're trying to get it on, up, up and down, there's something else you gotta think about. The other thing you wanna think about is getting from here to there and not fall down. Again, you always wanna maintain three points of contact. Make sure it's solid contact, not something that's gonna move. Yours are good, fenders are good. Get your point right over here. Now, you can do it safely. That's the idea.